Sometimes there can be things such as combined variation of some sort. If you notice in this problem, it says y varies jointly as x and z and inversely as w. So you've got two things going on. Now when something says it varies jointly, that means that it's varying directly with two different things or three different things or four different things. So here we say that y varies jointly as x and z. That means it's varying directly with x and z. So we have our input equation here because we're talking about jointly and jointly actually means directly. This is our template equation for direct variation. But it says that y varies jointly or directly with x and z. We're always going to have that a in there. It's a given. It's a constant. But since it says it varies directly or jointly with x and z, our template equation will now have a z in it also. And that for inversely, we have division symbol. So since this says inversely with w, we're actually going to divide this whole thing by w. So this is the direct part of it. Remember, direct means they're all on the same line. This is the inverse part of it where we have the division. Now we will substitute anything we've been given. We've give, we're given that three halves. We're given that x is 2, so we have k times 2, and z times 3, and w is 4. So we have some basic algebra to do. Up on the top, we have a 6k, and the bottom, we still have the 4. We have a 3 halves on the other side, so we can do our basic cross multiplication, and we can say, 3 times the 4, let's multiply, remember, 3 times 4 is 12, and 2 times 6k is 12k. So in this case, k is going to actually be 1 when we do our division. Now, we have to go up and see what our original equation was. Our original equation was y equals kxz divided by w. Now, since k is 1, all they're asking us to do is find the equation of variation. So we're going to put y equals 1, or remember, if it's a 1, you don't actually have to put it. This is the equation of variation. Now, if they had given us something else, if maybe now they said, find z when y equals 4, x equals 6, and w equals 10, we plug all the numbers in that we had, and we would be able to find z now. So sometimes you actually have something that's called combined variation. If you want to look at some of the other examples of combined variation, look at page 223 in your book. That gives you a good um, definition and some more examples of combined variation.